In this tutorial, we'll be converting a city skyline map into a 3D model. You will need two programs. One to record your gameplay, such as OBS or NVIDIA Shadowplay. The second is a program called Meshroom that uses photography to create 3D models. So here in City Skylines, you want your options set to these parameters. First, you want to turn off any type of depth of field, color correction, and you want to disable shadows. Also, you will want to have edge scrolling enabled and edge scrolling's sensitivity set to very low. Now we're going to turn off the HUD and we'll be panning around the area we want to recreate and start recording. Start recording and pan around this city block. Generally, you want to have one loop low angle and one loop with a high angle. The more loops you do around your city block, the more detail you can recreate. But also at the same time, creates a lot more workload. With the recording complete, we can now extract the frames from the video we just recorded. To extract the frames from our video that we first up, we're going to use VLC. We're going to go to Preferences, All. We're going to scroll all the way down to Filters. Scroll all the way down to Theme Filter. Change your image format to JPEG. And we're going to set our recording ratio to 10. This will create a capture every 10 frames of a video. Then we're going to go back up to filters and make sure our scene video filter is checked on and save. And we're going to close VLC and open our video file. With our video file open, you'll notice they'll be stuttering. Every stutter is taking a screen capture. And we're just going to let this play out. By default, VLC will store your your screen captures in your Windows Pictures folder. After our screenshots have rendered out, we're going to open up Meshroom. We're going to drag and drop all our screenshots into Meshroom. Once you have dragged and dropped all your screenshots into Meshroom, you're going to look for any duplicates and delete them as Meshroom is a very intensive program, and the less workload, the better. After you've proofed your screenshots, we're going to save the file. And then we're going to go to Structure of Motion, right-click, and hit Compute. One important thing to note, if you're doing a large data set, the process can fail as noted by the red camera marks. What you can do to avoid this is use smaller data sets by using 20 to 40 images at a time. So all you need to do is select a set of images and drag and drop and augment reconstruction. Then click compute on the next structure of motion. Here you can see what the point cloud has generated so far. Pretty much matches our screenshot. You can note where all the houses and roads are. We're going to let that render out and continue on from there. Once you're done processing all the assets you think you need, you can either render this out into a 3D model or a texture 3D model. For a 3D model, you'll render out meshing. For a texture model, you can render out texturing. We're going to right click and compute. So here's our rendered result. As you can see, there's more detail where the buildings were closer to the camera and where things start to fall off the further away your camera gets. 
Now I didn't do all the screenshots due to time constraints, but if you had more time and a more powerful computer, you could probably process a lot more data for a more accurate result. Now that the model has been rendered out, you can find the 3D model in the texturing node. And by right clicking mesh and open containing folder. From there, you'll find your OBJ file, which we now can import into Blender. We import a file, it will be off axis because that's what Meshroom does. It's going to rotate it back. And we're texturing. And there you go. From city skylines to blender. I hope this tutorial has been informative and helpful and see you in the next video.